Hello everyone, my name is the Soy Boy. I am the noob cyber main from Australia and I'm going to teach you how to learn the dark ways of noob cyber. Let's get into this. For noob's best buttons is standing one, seven frame high. If they do something on save, you can just whip this out and do standing one, one, three. Up next is back one. 9 frame mid, really good for punishing and with punishing. This also has a crushing blow to it with back 1 L1 and 2. 31% does it by itself, really good. Down 1, 7 frame, really good. This can also jail into 1 1 3 as well, so. And it's also really good poke as well, because 7 frame is actually a really good poke. Next up, back 2. 12 frame mid and it's also a armor break so yeah but the thing is you just don't know when they're gonna break or not so just do that just in case just in case up next forward two nine frame high really good reach as well if they um with punish or do something unsafe you just do this and get your combo starting up next back three 15 frame start up and really good reaching low about this distance where where this line is yeah really good for distance really good up next forward free this can also be really good for combos and also it can be really good for anti-hearing so as you can see right here this can be really good for anti-airing, so you might want to use that as well. Alright, no, up next, down free, 9 frame low, and it's plus 50 on hit, so it can gel into 4221. And yeah, that's pretty much it, and it's also pretty good reach with the um, down free. Alright, next, down 4, another 9 frame low. And it's really good. Plus 18 on hit. It can also gel into forward 221. It can also be for anti airing. As you can see right there, same as forward 3. But the down 4 is also a really good anti as well. Alright, next is the um, best combo strings. Alright, so his best combo strings is 112. This leaves into the overhead on the last hit. Be careful, it has a flawless block gap by 26 frames. And this is where the Shadow Slide comes in if you have that equipped, or Shadow Strike. Because they're both lows and they can lead to a 50 50 mix up. So, if you have those, you're all good. Up next, 1 1 3. Really good for a combo starter as well if you have the um, Shadow Portals that modifies the um, Tele Slam Amplified. You can get your combos going as well. So yeah, that's this one's a good combo starter. Alright, up next, 2-1-2. Two, two. Really good for Odashimi. The second hits hits low. And this can only be good for combos as well. In mid-screen. If you get your time correctly, you, you're all good. Yeah, it can be an Odashimi and it can also be good for combos. Up next, 4-2-2. This is a really good one for um, staggering. Yeah, really good for staggering. Minus six on block. It, and also, this is also with the guessing game. You don't know, you might whip out the shadow slide or the shadow slide amplified or not leave it by itself, which is actually pretty good. Yeah, this one is really good for staggering and for pressure and stuff like that. So yeah. Up next, four, two, two, one. Another combo starter. It can also lead with the sickle snag for your combos. Yeah, so if you have sickle snag, you're all good for the um, big boy damage with new cybot. Alright, up next is his special moves slash base kit. Alright, so his special moves slash base kit is shadow tackle. This is a mid and it goes cover the entire screen. If you do 10 shadow specials, including um, shadow tackle, rising shadow kick, and shadow slide, and shadow slide amplified because it counts as two. If you've done all 10, 
can lead to a crushing blow and really good for damage. Up next, Rising Shadow Kick. This can be really good for anti airing with people with characters that have um, air specials like Kum Lao for example. If you keep doing this, they won't do it. That means that they're just going to do a jump kick or a jump punch. You can do forward three or down four. So, yeah. Up next, Tele Slam. 30 frame startup. Really good for ending combos as well. Amplifying it for additional damage. And yeah. And also be careful be doing um, your little Tele Slams because it's very slow on startup. And, and it's a high, you will get punished, and you will just get down 2k beat as well, so um, yeah, just be careful of that. Alright, up next is the variations slash customs. So noobs best variations slash customs, they don't really matter to be honest, it can also work with every situation in your arsenal, I guess. With spirit bolt, with zoning, sickle snag, going off combos with this, air tele slam if you you are getting zoned out or they're trying to anti air you shadow portals really good for um, starting off combos with this air sickle port same with every zoning situation or they're trying to anti air you sickle toss it can actually destroy jade's um, dodging shadows or shank's smoke parry etc shadow slide Really good to end off combos with this, and it can be also really good in the neutral. Shadow Strike compared to um, Shadow Slide. It's actually only close range, knocks them down, and it's also safe on block by minus 6. Air Shadow Dive, same thing. As I said with the um, Air Tele Slam and Air Sick Bot, you get zoned out, or they're just trying to anti air you. One ability is um, Ghost Ball, it's on blockable, slow on startup, and it's also a high. But either way, they're both really good. Really good because they're up one slot. Alright, next up, his strengths and his weaknesses. So number one strength of Noob is combo damage. 31% for one bar, if you have Shadow Portals equipped, you can do over 30% damage. Number two, strength. He's spacing slash neutral with um, back three and shadow slide. Really good controlling the neutral slash spacing. Yeah, these are the two strengths of Noob Cyber. All right, number one weakness, bad movement. Cause look at this movement. He can't even wave dash. This is, this is sad. They even you can't even do any good movement with this character because he has really bad movement. Number two of his weakness is um recovery on his basic strings, combo strings, and special moves. Yeah, these are the both two strengths and both two weaknesses of Noob Cybot. Alright, that was the new Cybot guide. Hope you guys find it helpful. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Twitch. And I hope I do more character guides in the future. And yeah, see you next time.